social policy was born out of the belief that we could do something to address problems in society. It was born out of an awareness by a certain key figures of the detrimental effects of the development of capitalism. Its roots are in a belief in our capacity for social change and for social improvements. Social policy is the study of the way that societies come together in order to uh, meet human needs. A social policy is a policy that's designed to address problems of human well-being. Social policy is the study of uh, all the really big questions about how we organise ourselves as societies. When we, when we teach social policy, when we teach introductory social policy, we often start way back in the area of the Industrial Revolution and we look at the way that the emancipation of the market back in the 18th century led to new vulnerabilities, problems like unemployment, which had never been the case before, and then what, what sorts of responses societally we started to see. So, for example, the creation of welfare states. So how do we make sure that everybody has uh, a decent income to live on? and that they have access to education, to health, to housing. And how far should we, should it be up to families and, and the market economy to, to provide for those things, for people to organise those things for themselves? Or does the state need to have a role? And if the state has a role, what role should that be? How should they get involved? How should they organise services? It engages with, with very difficult issues, issues relating to global poverty, global inequalities, and it emphasises the importance of different ways of understanding those problems and different ways in which those problems are addressed for better or worse. This department has been very well known for founding the study of social policy which historically has been taken to describe uh, the welfare state institutions in rich economies and in particular the UK. That is a false picture of today's world of social policy. One of the particular strengths of social policy at LSE is exactly its international scope. The research that we do is increasingly internationally focused, increasingly global. We no longer study simply the UK. In fact, I would say that uh, the UK, well, it is probably certainly not the majority of study any, anymore. To take the particular example of social policy at LSE, it started off uh, being um, a discipline looking specifically at the welfare state in the context of Britain, but what we see today is that social policy looks at the welfare state in Britain as well as many other jurisdictions around the world. The international orientation is particularly important. It's not just that our students are very international, it's not just that our faculty is very international, but in the last several uh, years, in the last decade, um, the social policy department at the LSE has been far more internationally oriented, has been uh, interested in expanding the study of social policy to places where social policy scholars haven't previously been doing their research. The research that we conduct and the courses that we teach are also strongly international. We look at different social policies in a variety of uh, environments, national as well as international, and we also uh, advise governments around the world as to uh, the policies that they should follow in particular fields. Things like, you know, the goals, social goals of raising living standards, uh, how to improve social justice, uh, provision of social protection, these are universal issues. They're important all around the world, every country. It's just that the social context differ. In my work, um, working in places like Sub-Saharan Africa and China uh, is um, sort of represents uh, some of those new frontiers in the study of social policy. I think all of us who are involved in social policy and teaching it and studying it um, come from a perspective where we want to we want to change the world. Really, we want things to be better, uh, and we think that policy, better policy solutions, should surely be able to enable us to live better. So we're not only. I mean, I think. In sociology and economics, you have uh, people who are interested in policy solutions, but you'll also be studying many topics simply from a, a more descriptive or more just trying to understand the way the world works. And I guess we do want to understand the way that it, the world works so that we can improve on policy and improve uh, on the way things function.
I think students come uh, full of hope and full of uh, desire to understand um, what's going on in the world and how policy can contribute in different ways to addressing those issues. So I, am, I have no doubt that we are going to remain relevant both as a field and even more so as a department. Thank you.